boys and girls, Miss Quast here, sharing today The Cool Bean by Jory John and Pete Oswell. And this book has been loaned to me by my dear friend, Kobe Jean. And Kobe Jean has been reading books and taking her own videos of herself reading. So shout out to Kobe for loaning me this book, The Cool Bean and for inspiring kids to be cool without worrying about what other kids think of them. The Cool Bean by Joy John and Pete Oswald. Ooh, they're looking very funky fresh. The Cool Bean. Watch out! Here come the Cool Beans. The Cool Beans. Oh yeah, check out how they move. Look at the way they swagger. Notice their sunglasses? Yo! The cool beans are known all over school, from house to house across town beyond county lines. So funky. What do you think he feels? He looks pretty prim and proper, doesn't he, with his bow tie? In the olden days last year, we were all one big pot of beans. We were all a mixed bag, but somehow it worked. Yep, those were the good old days. And then we stopped seeing each other as much. <gasps> Sigh. That's just how it is sometimes. You spend less time together, even though you're not totally sure why. So he's feeling pretty sad. He's not included in that group. Last year, he's remembering fondly how close they all were. It didn't matter what they look like, if that little chickpea had beef, uh, glasses or not. But sometimes friendships change. I watched as the beans I knew so well, the beans from my own pod became the cool beans. Oh, they were so cool. One of them could play the guitar, cool. One of them could draw the best superheroes, cool. One of them could jump higher than any bean I'd ever known. Cool! Look at him, he's even sticking out his tongue. As he slammed down the pit. Me? Well, I mostly stayed the same. Sure, I made some small changes. I wore sunglasses. Too big. They're called Ray Beans instead of Ray Bans. I slicked my hair back. Oof, too slick. I strutted around. Ow! Stubbed his toe. I swaggered. Ooh. Tripped on a banana peel. I think he's feeling like he just doesn't quite fit in. I was still picked last for everything. My clothes never seemed to fit. I snorted when I laughed. <clears throat> I walked into stuff. Home. I was an uncool bean for sure. I started thinking of myself as just a common bean with no special skills. I couldn't compete. So I didn't even try. I'd never be a cool bean. So he's feeling pretty bad about himself. Because he's not the same as everybody else. But being the same is pretty boring. It seems like there were two types of beans in the world. There were the cool beans. And the beans like me. And they're on Leguma Beach. That's a delicious pun. Your parents are totally going to laugh at that. The days all blended together. I lived my life and things were just okay. I took tests and ate lunches and mostly stu stuck by myself. The cool beans continued being cool. I mean, sure, I miss them a bit, but it's not like I was going to say anything. I felt like that all the coolness had gotten in the way of our friendship. And that's how it went. Until one day. So he's so worried about not being cool and like them that he won't even approach them and let them know that he misses them. And he really does. What's going to change here? Hmm. I was in the cafeteria. I dropped my lunch on my loafers. Oh no, not again. But then something sort of miraculous happened. Out of nowhere, one of the cool beans helped me clean it up. He didn't even say anything. He just gave me a nod. That was it. Later, I was out on the playground. I tripped and scraped my knee and maybe cried a little bit. And everybody saw it. 
another one of the cruel babies came to my side, and, without a word, he dusted me off. So even though these beings are cruel, they're also caring. Look at his friends, all the other kids, the other beings are noticing. Wow, it's cool to be kind. That afternoon, I was sitting in class. I wasn't really paying attention. I didn't notice, but our teacher had called on me. Everybody stared. I sat there in silence. Nobody said anything. Touch your nose if that's happened to you before in class where you're daydreaming and then the teacher calls on you. And then, then, everyone laughed at me. That was it. After today, I was officially a has been. Oh, how embarrassing. And I bet that's probably happened to at least most of those beings, because we all have those times in our classes where we're just thinking about something else and poof, it goes right out of our head. But then one of the cool beans stood up and came over to me. Everybody watched. She leaned in close and whispered, Hey, the teacher asked you to read from page 32. Then she gave me a quick wink and went back to her seat. It was a small gesture, sure, but it was also everything. So that simple act of kindness really made a difference and made him feel a lot better about himself and he could try. I walked home with a goofy smile on my face. I smiled all the way through dinner. <laughs> that day made all the difference. It was the day that could have been really bad if not for the kindness of a few cool beans. It gave me a shred of confidence. That shred of confidence has continued to grow. So he starts to feel better about himself. Those cool beans didn't care if he was hurt or he cried or if he didn't know what was going on in class. And their kindness gave him the confidence to feel like he could tackle anything that that school was going to throw at him. Somebody had my back. Or a few somebodies. And sometimes that's all it takes, boys and girls, is just knowing that someone is there and going to stand up for you to help you. After that, I started hanging out with the cool beans again. Uh, how have you been? Get it? How have you been? Not all the time, but sometimes. At lunch, after school, even on the weekends. Throughout all this, I realized that it's not about how you look or any of that other silly stuff. It's about a wink or a nod or a smile at just the right moment. It's about dusting somebody off, helping them up again, and pointing them in the right direction. So it's not what's on the outside. It's not the sunglasses. It's not the leather jacket. It's not the strut. It's about the kindness within each of you. Need a hand? Yes, please. Now that's cool. So I hope you enjoyed that story. And if you've read along with me, we've read The Great Eggscape and The Good Egg. And there's always the bad seed that we, I better read it on here, I guess. But thanks again to Kobe G for hooking us up with this book. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you can think of some ways that you can be cool and treat others with kindness. Thanks again for listening, boys and girls.